you are leading a project to create a new tech device and the project budget is planned for three years. Initially, you were going to spend 50,000 at the end of the second year. However, due to some updates in the project plan, you now need to spend this 50,000 at the beginning of the project. Okay, considering an annual rate of 8% and keeping in mind that total project budget remains the same, how does this early spending affects the project net present value? Yeah, that's the question mark. So the spending which were expected to happen after two years is happening now. But the total spending in a dollar term as a project budget remains the same. How it impacts your net present value, that is what we need to interpret out of it. Now, what is net present value? So net present value is a calculation of benefit which we get from a given project in a time factored calculation of money. Yeah, so we need to factor the time value of the money. So what does it mean? Net present value is the return we expect minus the expenses we make. Yeah, return we expect factored time value, which means if something is coming early, will be considered more. If something is coming later, it will be considered less. The expenses, if some things are spent now, considered more, something spent later, considered less. Because $1,000 today and $1,000 after one year for a net present value calculation or a time value of money calculation means different. So the present value of $1,000 today is 1000 but the present value of after one year, $1,000 depends upon the discount rate. In this case, we have a 8%, so I need to discount that particular future $1,000 with 8% in order to calculate the present value. Now, in this particular question, you don't have to calculate it. You just need to consider how my time factored benefits or profitability, which is called net present value, will get impacted if my expenses are happening early. Yeah. So expenses happening early will reduce your profitability if I consider time factored uh, value of money because you are outgoing in a present value term will be more if compared to if this money goes out after two years. So it, it, it decreases, so it increases my expenses and it decreases my profitability in the form of net present value. So that is something if I get it, my answer is, is, is ready for me. So let's go with the option. The project NPV will increase because spending money earlier will lead to saving later on. So the spending more or less remains the same. That's what we are saying. Uh, so no impact, yeah, we need to spend early or later. Uh, we don't have a saving coming in and early spending is, is not saving, it is more expense, it's reverse, yeah. Option B, the project NPV will decrease because spending money now means it's worth, worth more today than it would be in the future, perfect. That's the option B. So we need to understand the, in, the intent of this question is to check the understanding of net present value for the project manager, not the calculation. Option C, the project net present value remains the same since the target budget for the project has not changed. So as we said, even if the total sum is not changing, but when we are calculating net present value, we are factoring the time value of money. So the, 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 without factoring the time value of money, money may not be changing, but if it is spending getting spent early, it is getting impacted, the NPV calculation. So option C is not right. Option D, determining the change in project NPV is not possible without more information about the project's incoming fund. That's true, yeah. But we know uh, uh, that the, the impact, yeah. If, I, if someone asks me that, can you calculate the net present value for this particular option? I can't because I don't know the incomes. Yes, that's a fact. But I know if other parameters remains not changed and this parameter is changing, then it will decrease my NPV. So though the option D is true, but option B is more close because it helps me in mapping to the impact of change in the money which I'm spending now compared to what we were expected to spend after two years on the NPV, which is clearly seen that we can choose the option B. Now mapping to exam content out outline and task. This particular question is mapped to business domain task two. I should know, evaluate and deliver project benefit and value. That's the task. And the topic which we explored in depth is net present value. 